So, BBG Ruger just lost his life. Rest in peace to that man. Now, a lot of you guys might be thinking that NBA young boy and them going through it and all, but a lot of the things of this story ain't being reported the right way. You feel me? Rest in peace to that man, but I want to talk about it and give a little update on that too. First of all, I'm hearing that Ruger was really from the wild side. You feel me? He's more of BBG's Iraq people and them and shit like that. Now, a whole lot of people done did videos and say he's uh, Baby Joe's cousin. You know, BBG Joe, that's the cousin. I know that's like his right-hand man type-ish. You feel me? Always next to him and always reciting each other little quotes here and there. It's a lot to this, so I want to sit back. Well, y'all sit back as I spark one up. You feel me? I'm on my brother Polite Pack right quick. Yeah, we still on that. I need y'all to hold on right quick. Now, Ruger, story ain't no different from how they got BBG Iraq. You feel me? That back door don't never get closed, bruh. And it's always the niggas that's around you. Listen to me, G. Niggas ain't gonna admit to you, but when you look at this situation, bruh, it's a nigga close to the nigga, bro. He's sitting in a whip. He with a homie in the whip. Homie don't get hurt, but he get hurt, bruh, and he gone. He got hit. They said it was more than 50 bullets up. Man, it was 50 rounds up in that vehicle, bruh. 50 rounds go and penetrate the vehicle. They murk him right there on the spot. They send this man to take him away from his family. They send this man to the afterlife. That's what they did to BBG Ruga. And them folks wasn't even trying to play. They did it in front of kids and everything, bro. The, there was a video going viral of the moment. You can hear kids in the background crying. I guess one of his niece was speaking up too. And that low-key was sad sentiments, but... This what come with the streets, bro, if you in here, bro. Whoever you affiliated with could get you gone just like that. And then what you hear he was on in the streets. And just, I ain't gonna forget about what he was on, bro. The affiliation part is very, very serious, bro. From the info of what I'm getting out here, bro, it's wild as hell over there, bro. And I wrote some, my fault, bro. I wanted to, you feel me? I wanted to do this the right way, bro. Just to, you know, get into little situations like, you feel me, bro? Them bleeds and boys out of Dixie doing a lot of talking, bro. Allegedly, we going to say. We seen a lot of that already, bro. And, and, and I feel like it's a lot of bloggers who break things down, but it's a lot, lot more, bro. And, oh, man, okay, somebody told me he was BBG's uh, little brother for real. I mean, BBG um, Iraq, little brother for real. That's who he was. So if that's the case, then they done stained two people, bro, and that's sad right now. And, and I, I still feel like it's a bad... Okay, I wrote three other things, and I don't want to get into that, but, man, long live Ronald Green, man. Long living, bro. Now, the backdoor situation is what I want to stick to, bro. Nigga, this, this street shit ain't never been real, bro. Niggas always going to say, long live this person. I'm going to say it, too, but in reality, bro, we all got them friends or even us who we know who ain't going to make it anytime soon, bro. Nigga got the ingredients of so much beef, you get in tune with it, bro. You don't even know who coming at you and how they coming for you, bro. You just wide open with it. I know me, even doing this YouTube shit, it get a little bit gravy. But I don't talk about folks' dead families and doing all that. These dudes live in that. People don't forget about you, bro. You can't be chilling out here and you see what's going on out here in these streets. And you, you feel me? You think it's for play, bro. When you come out here, you get up out here. They tapping your pockets, bro. It's just no ifs and buts about it, dog. They tapping your pockets and taking you out of here, dog. BBG Iraq got backdoored like that, bro. They from the wild, bro. They got backdoored just like that. And now this man chilling in front of... And then it was in front of his mama house. I'm going to say allegedly, but based on the video I seen and what people been giving to me, he was in front of his mama house when he got murdered, bro. They took that boy on out, and let's get this out the way. Look, whether you want to believe if he cool with NBA young boy or not, and people, you can argue with me about if he cool with him or not, but when people say, oh, this ain't got nothing to do with young boy, nigga, how you know, bro? At the end of the day, bro, when you affiliated to a nigga that's a target, nigga's going to try to get you out the way any way they could, bro. If I can't get you, I'm going to get your mans. Even if I think he's your mans, he going to get touched. Even if I think he's your man, bruh. 
These folks out there, bro, they've been getting knocked off these socks for a good little minute, bro. Of course, during the Boosie era and even the 90s and 80s. But I'm talking about this NBA young boy little era and thing going on with the whole BBBG movement. I say BBBG, y'all. I'm, I'm dinking on right this right now, bro. But Ruger got a family that love him, bro. Like, they went crazy with the support as far as his passing, but then I seen them getting trolled by all of Ruger's ops. And I seen a lot of them talking about 4K trade, dissing them. They was dissing NBA Youngboy. So y'all can say NBA Youngboy ain't in on it, but why is his ops focused on saying Youngboy's name? Your affiliation gets you knocked off. Big Boss is somewhere else, and he got the money and security to protect him. But what about you, homie? When you're doing the boss dirty work or you getting involved and you getting your name seen, you probably didn't even have a real conversation with NBA Youngboy. But now that you affiliated with this man and you done put Instagram posts and like word getting out. And then how we know this man ain't staying somebody out here. Nigga shot 50 shots into his car. What did that man do in the streets for folks in them to pull out? Bro, it was innocent folks there. And the community, the way it looked like, there's a lot of close people who could have got hit. 50 shots that hit the vehicles. That's just the shots that hit the vehicles, bro. They pulled up right by him and hit a drive-by. That's what type of high-power weapon that was and what did homie do, bro? Niggas ain't just going to try to stain you and kill you like that only because you affiliated to somebody. Not only because you affiliated to somebody, bro. Bro got a name, and niggas been telling me he had a name for a minute. A lot of people, of course, went on the affiliation part. I ain't knocking it. But when a nigga hit you with 50 rounds, bro, you boy, you done did something stupid to somebody out here, bro. Let's just get that part out the way. I'm going to say allegedly out of respect for the friends and the families, but you done did something dumb, dumb, dumb out here, bro. Something dumb, dumb, dumb out here to get slumped like that, bro. 50 rounds into one person, bro. That man died at the scene. We ain't even get to see what he had here to do, bruh. They got that man out the way, bro. Ruger was really living like that, and that's the unfortunate part. You feel me? <clears throat> he was living like that. People ain't liked it, and a lot of people, they knocked it out the way. You got to play ball, and you got to play games with some people over here, bruh. You got to know the situations you getting yourself into. They out here, bruh. Niggas is lurking. Niggas is smart genius now. You got hood niggas finding all sorts of ways to find locations. Niggas trying to see if you like that for real. Or niggas know you like that and they don't even matter to them. Niggas just want you out the way, bro. With Ruger, he ain't going to be the only one and he ain't the only one, bro. You can even look at the niggas that's actually close to young boy as well, bro. Rest in peace to Dump and all these other folks who was around him, including his homie um, KD who got paralyzed. You know, every time one of these young dudes get paralyzed, I hope that they could make it. But it's like, bruh, you put yourself in the mix, you about to get fixed, dog. I don't know, man. That man mama going to have to look at that video every time he gets replayed. You feel me? You can hear them kids crying. And some of them kids was playing. They ain't even know it was real. Some of them kids was playing, bro. They ain't even know if it was real, bro. That told me everything I needed to see, bro. We, we be in a mess of society the way we do these things, bro. NBA young boy is living very fine and willing and dandy and all that, bro. In his uh, Utah suburbia town or whatever. I look at it as all of Utah suburbia, but it is what it is. And this man, you feel me? He out of here. He out of here, dog. Doing his damn thing. He out of here, bro. He don't got to worry about what we got to worry about or what y'all got to worry about. His little stepboys or his homies or people who connected. I'm just saying, is it worth it, bro? To die that type of way in that type of style, that ain't fashionable. Hell nah. I ain't going for it, bro. A lot of niggas could agree with that, but that's, that's something different, bro. If you ask me, it's something like in 92 again, bro. That's how niggas was getting drilled back in the days. You feel me? No face, no case type of situation. Or make the mama hurt so it could be a closed casket. You hear me? I done seen mortuaries do a hell of a job, bro. I, I done seen dudes get hit with more shots like that being from South Florida. So, you know, them mortuary dudes could do a hell of a job. But it's, it's still at the end of the day. You lost a son. Somebody lost a father. 
cousin, uncle, because I seen a lot of his nieces saying rest in peace, uncle. It just it's sad, but it's like we can't keep saying everything is sad, bro. At what point do we take accountability and know what we getting ourselves into, gang? Everything can't just be a sad story, bro. Some gotta wake you up and shake you up and do something to your spirit and your bones and tell you time to pick up the ball and go home, bro. We at the basketball court, we being outmatched, time to pick up the ball and go home. It don't mean you a quitter, dog. Some things ain't for us all the time, and we chasing something that's like touching a burning stove. You know it's hot, and you continue to touch it. You don't have to tell the baby that the stove is hot. First time, you know, touch it, I already know. I don't know, man. Rest in peace to that man, Ruga. I just wanted to share some sentiments on it. You feel me? Um, hit that like button, man. Share this video to real ones who need to see some type of change, man. Look, I come from them same hoods. You may not believe it or not because the way I speak, nigga be corny as hell, dog. I'm from the roads. But niggas I know who from them type of neighbors don't try to act extra gangster or do nothing like that. They trying to escape it, bro. They got love for it. They going to rock out in it, give back to the people. But you trying to live somewhere else, bro. And that's the truth, dog. Because nobody want to be a BBG Ruger and get popped in front of your mom's crib. That's like Soldier Slim, bro. They got this man on Thanksgiving Day in front of his mom's crib, in front of his son. I think it was like five shots to the face or something like that. You feel me? So this one with the 50 shots, a nigga had to come close. A nigga got time to bust 50 rounds. A nigga comfortable. A nigga know what you doing in the car, know where you at. He know all the details already. Somebody done gave the drop. I believe that with all my soul, somebody around that man, I'm not going to say it's the person in the car because when you put these jackets on certain people by name or actual people you could pinpoint, you can get somebody killed like that. And I ain't doing that part. For all we know, the person in the car probably was the target. I don't know, gang. I'm just saying it looked like that back door was wide open and niggas forgot to close it. Like most of these cases, nothing be brand new under the sun. We know what it is, but we keep getting caught up because we addicted to this shit. We addicted to this way a lot. We wake up. We thinking about the club, that fresh outfit. The, go the whole routine is patterned, bro. You feel me? That Friday come, might go to a little house party already. But Saturday is for the real clubs opening up downtown somewhere. You feel me? By the beach or something. If you from like where I'm from. You feel me? And you getting the whole fit ready. You and the bros and them. You sipping. You drinking all day, bro. You just throw it out. Your mind is always on that chill mode. But it ain't the real chill mode, dog. Niggas be squatted, meaning that you see these bros and them over here. Now, you and your homies feeling enticed to get in some type of fight or altercation, anything, because you drunk on that henny, and it's go time. What? Niggas don't need no pills, educational purpose, none of that to murk you. These niggas high is just a clout, bro, to get your name out there. Oh, we done stained such and such. Now a nigga living it up right now. He got a name now. You can't tell that nigga nothing in the world, dog. That man got a name. He is undefeated. He is unstoppable. He about to go. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, bro. 96 mode on you dudes, bro. You feel me? That old Ben style, bro. Like, just classic. That's all he going on you is classic. That's what these young dudes do, bro. No hesitation. No pump faking. And when you hear 50 shots, dudes ain't worrying about getting caught. None of that. Too comfortable, bro. Because it's so easy to pop somebody's shit back lately, bro. It's way too easy, bro, and it shouldn't be that easy, bro. Watch your inner circle. Watch people you around. I don't know, man. Salute to everybody out there, man. If you fuck with the channel, man, scratch that like button. Don't hit it, but scratch it, and you'll get everything you need, man. Look, I'm your guy, DJ Bless One, man. Love your family. Love your kids. Definitely, I like to say, everyone, stay blessed, gang.